Hello everyone. With this update, I've done a refactoring of the rendering system. Here's the graphics before the refactor. And here's the graphics after the refactoring. Everything is now rendered to an off-screen frame buffer. This frame buffer has a float-based color attachment. This means when rendering colors, the colors are not clamped to 0 to 1. Colors can go to very large numbers, like in HDR. This is useful for lighting calculations. I no longer need to use fake lighting values. I can use real lighting values and achieve realistic light falloff. There's still some work to be done in that area, but I am now using light values that go beyond SDR. Once I render the colors to the initial frame buffer, colors above a certain threshold are used for bloom, such as for emissive objects like projectiles, explosions, engine fire, etc. There is a shader that extracts colors from the frame buffer that are beyond this threshold. I then apply a series of Gaussian blurs to these colors in a separate frame buffer. I ping pong between these frame buffers doing a vertical blur and then a horizontal blur. After a specified number of blur steps, the colors are blended back onto the original off-screen frame buffer. This is how emissive things, like the local star, have their bloom added to the final render. The default frame buffer still requires colors to be on the range 0 to 1, so I bring the HDR colors back into the range using Reinhard tone mapping. The end result is what you see. The spaceship seemed very flat, so I added normal maps to the models and changed the shaders to be able to use the normal maps. These normal maps alter the fragments normal based on a texture lookup. To make the normal map, I created a blocky plane in Blender. I then created a simple material and baked the normals to the image. I then tiled the image in GIMP, updated each model in the game to use the tiled version of the normal map. Different models require different amounts of tiling. The result is what you see in the game. The planes of these ships are still flat, but the normal maps influence how lighting is calculated, giving the illusion of more geometry. I also added the engine flame effects to the back of the ships. The colors can be tweaked in the model editor. Currently, the engine flame matches the team color. That's it for this update. I'm not sure what I'll do next. I think I'm close to having the MVP version of the game. There's still a few features I want to add and a bit of bugs that need fixing. Until next time, goodbye.